Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel, and this is a quick video to uh, say that, uh, well, Microsoft Edge uh, Stable Chromium, the new browser, is now rolling out on Windows Update for most. A lot of people have been mentioning that they have it. Um, interesting, because there's part of the people that say that they had it installed without them doing anything. Um, I don't really know exactly because all of my machines have already the version, so I should have left at least one machine, um, get it uh, to see if it's optional or not. Well, it's rolling out through Windows Update. Um, of course, we had a link where you could get it before for those of you that wanted to download it. Um, so Microsoft Edge is the new browser. This is what it looks like. And it is, uh, it has, we're going to talk ab about a few of the features so that you, if you're getting it and you want to try it out, what exactly is different in here from the past uh, browsers. So if you look at Windows updates, you're probably going to get it. If you get it, it's going to replace the old edge. Now you cannot go back. Uh, a lot of people have been mentioning this today. If you have the new edge rolling out today, you're not going back to the old edge. There's no way to do this anymore. So apparently you are on the new edge and that's it. Honestly, I, I find it okay because the old edge more and more, um, it has problems and it's sluggish on a lot of websites. So I think it's anyways a good thing. Now, it's based on Chromium. You might say, well, oh, another Chrome browser. Nope, it's not a Chrome browser. Chromium, first of all, is an open source project. So that means um, anybody with the skills to tweak can tweak. Microsoft actually put a team on Chromium and decided to tweak it for their own use. It's very different from Google Chrome. It's really flavored on its own edge-like browser, but in its own way. The second thing that is different, if you are um, afraid of tracking by Google, the Edge Chromium browser's tracking isn't centered on Google. Now, it's of course centered on Microsoft with Bing and all of that. Some of you might say it's not better. You know, whatever your convictions, um, the idea is that here you're not centered on Google, you're centered on Microsoft, which is different. Um, the other interesting aspects of the Microsoft uh, Edge Chromium browser, it's uh, the battery and speed. It is efficient on the battery. So if you're on the laptop or a tablet, using Edge Chromium is actually apparently better on the battery life. Uh, it is less of a memory hog than Google Chrome. And it is fast. I use it. I use actually even the insider ones. Uh, Canary and developer and they were great. They are fast and I love the Microsoft Edge Chromium browser personally. It's what I use all the time. Now, if you have this installed, what's new in here? Well, one of the key features, one of the first features that is available is profiles. So you're logged in with a profile when you are on your uh, computer. So here you see it says personal and you can actually add profiles and it could be a work profile. It could be a guest profile. Each profile has its own thing. So it's like having different browsers for different people. So each profile will be centered on whatever you do in that profile. So that's the first um, thing about Google, uh, Google, Microsoft Edge Chromium. The second um, thing that is of interest, and in this is by far much better than whatever Chrome does, is that in the settings, you have privacy and services, tracking prevention by default. Now, you have three levels of tracking prevention, basic, balanced, and strict. By default, you are unbalanced. That means it actually blocks some of the tracking. It blocks some of the stuff that could be, um, you know, not interesting or that snoops a little too much on you. 
but it is a, a step ahead of whatever Google Chrome does. So you have you can change that um, to strict if you want, but of course the higher the tracking block is, the more some of the websites you go to will actually break down. So this is really nice. You have uh, you can see the blocked trackers of websites. So you see here all the blocked trackers. You can clear that information if you want. Also, you can also um, of course, do exceptions depending on the websites that you go to if it's broken because of that and so on. So this is really nice. It's an improved privacy and makes actually Edge Chromium a more private uh, browser. Your privacy is better on Edge Chromium than it is on the um, you know Google Chrome browser. You can use Google extensions yes if you are changing to edge chromium all the extensions that are in google chrome actually work on edge chromium this is cool there's the immersive reader so when you go to websites you can actually um you know look at an article say you're looking at an article and uh, you don't want to have all the clutter that might be on a web page or something you can click the immersive reader that will actually have a clean uh, aspect of your own article without the ads, without all, all the extras and so on. And of course, the immersive reader, you can have it um, read out loud your uh, different articles if you wish, which is nice. There's, uh, of course, it's centered on Bing. So when you actually turn it on, you have the Bing entry page that can be changed. Honestly, you can change it to Google. You can change it to, you know, DuckDuckGo. You can change it to whatever is your favorite page here. You don't have to be stuck with Bing. And there are things that can be changed. And actually, uh, because it's rolling out now, I'll have a little series today on uh, different options of the Microsoft Edge Chromium browser and how to use them. What's nice, it syncs with all your computers and even phone and tablets. If, of course, if you have Edge on your phone, your Android phone, tablet, if you have Edge on other uh, PCs, Edge Chromium, uh, other Windows 10 PCs or Windows PCs in general because it also works on Windows 7 and 8, you will have, if you wish, the sync capability. That means that your computer is going to sync all of that information in between your Edge browsers. So all you have to do is uh, make sure that the sync capability is on and that will actually work. The uh, other aspects of this is that it also is a more um, um, interesting layout for progressive web apps as you'll be able to customize those a little more. Uh, one of the features that is nice, collections on the top right, you have collections. This is a place where you can actually add different uh, categories of websites together. Uh, as groups. It's nice. I like it. And as you see here, I actually am using it. So um, we're going to explain how to use it. And we're going to explain that uh, in the series today. So you guys can uh, check out and we'll go into a little more details of what each option is all about uh, since it's rolling out. Um, so, you know, there's of course speed, there's a internet uh, explorer mode is coming soon. There are a lot of things that are not yet there. Um, in the uh, Chromium Canary version and the um, and the Edge uh, developer, we are testing a few things that are not yet here. But as time goes by, there are more options that are going to be added to the browser. And last but not least, if you try it and use it, it does not affect your other browsers. So you're, if you're using Firefox or Brave or Chrome or whatever, Opera, you can actually use and test it and it's not going to change anything to your other browsers, so there's no problem there. And it gives you a great way of checking it out, trying it out, and see if you like it or not. Um, I would say that the majority of people that have tried it actually kind of love it. 
and uh, I personally love it. It's my favorite browser, uh, basically. So if you want to see some of the features and details, we're posting that today in a series of videos. Hope you enjoy. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.